Yo, what's going on guys? Ghost here back on the MLB The Show 16 Diamond Dynasty and today we have a special video commemorating the rookies of this season. Of course, we did have the awards a couple weeks back. The rookies of the year were Michael, Ful were Michael Fulmer and Corey Seager both going to be on this team Start off with the rotation. He is going to be our number one. Hopefully we get to play with him. He's a pretty good pitcher overall. Next we got Steven Matz, Kenta Maeda, Junior Garrela. I'm not exactly sure how to say that one, so yeah. And then Shamanea. So that is going to round out our rotation. You know, don't have any golds, but we do have four starters, 80 overall or above. So that's honestly not too bad. Our rotation isn't horrible. Our bullpen will be starting off with... Sang Juan O. Oh. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm sorry. A lot of these people, their names are kind of hard to pronounce. Next, we got Edwin Diaz from the Mariners, Tony Barnett, Matt Bush, Chris Davinsky, Ryan Dole, and Mauricio Cabrera. So that is going to be our bullpen. We do have some comments there, but we have an 83. We got a 79 and some 76s. The bullpen isn't that good. Hopefully we don't have to turn to it too much and also that mean our starting pitching is doing a good job But now on to our lineup. We got Trey Turner. You guys already know at center field He is a beast very fast pretty good fielding not the greatest power, but very good contact at third base We got Brandon Drury from the Diamondbacks pretty average got you know mid 60s on contact and about 60 power aside And here we go Corey Seager he was up in he was up in contention for MVP. You know, I didn't think he should have won MVP. I would have picked Daniel Murphy over him, but he had a great season nonetheless. 95 contact right, 84 power right, and 77 and 78 power versus left. Very good, also pretty pretty good fielding, 63 speed. Trevor Story, of course, he's got a lot of power and he has no vision. Unfortunately, he did get hurt. At one time he looked possibly like he could win the rookie of the year, but Corey Seager pretty much ran away with it. It was pretty much a landslide. Next, we got Gary Sanchez, who, he was unbelievable. He had such a good start when he came in. Some people thought maybe he was deserving more than Fulmer, but he just didn't really have the at-bats that he needed. Either way, 76 and 68 power, very good for our catcher. At right field, Nomar Mazzara, pretty much only going to be good against righties. And yeah, not much to say. Actually, I might swap them out depending on. Next, we got Tommy Joseph at first and Tyler Naquin at left. And our bench is going to consist of Wilson Contreras, Ryan Healy, Alednis Diaz, Hyun Soo Kim, and Malik Smith. I had to go with Malik Smith. He's got 92 speed. Hopefully, if we, you know, we need to get some speed on the bases and need to get that run, we can bring on him. But that is going to be the roster. Um, some people you guys might not have you, you might have somebody who thinks is more deserving on this list Unfortunately, we are only allowed 25 players on this list. I think I did the best I can I think it's pretty accurate So you guys can let me know if I missed anyone if you think anybody got snubbed But that being said, let's get into the gameplay with that team all right, so here we go into the rookie special. We are actually pitching Michael Fulmer, which I'm kind of happy about. He won, he won rookie of the year for the American League, so I thought it'd be kind of nice to pitch him. My opponent, he does got some players. He's got Bryce Harper. He's got David Ortiz. Not exactly sure which one that is, but either way, David Ortiz always comes with a lot of power, especially against righty. So, yeah, that doesn't really matter what version of Big Poppy he has. It's got to be a good, powerful card. Until... But usually, that was a bad pitch. That was a bad pitch. It was going right inside on Bryce Harper, hopefully. C come on, go home. Test him. Test him. Yeah, I didn't think so. Frazier, who's got a lot of power. And Michael Fulmer, once again. That's that's a bad pitch. Kind of my fault. Kind of not my fault. I, I'm really not liking this Michael Fulmer. Okay, okay. Maybe I don't absolutely hate him. That is going to be one out. Depending on who he has up, I'm... Oh, I am so stupid. You suck! I am so stupid. <laughs> Why would I even throw it a second right there? That makes no sense. No sense, but I do it anyway. And he gets a free run of it. He gets a free run because of it, Big Poppy. We might have him at first base right there. And of course. I hate how whenever you actually might have a chance to get him out, they're never standing on first base. Never. 
But then when there's not a chance that you're going to get him out, they will be standing on first. It's ridiculous. Grounder, Trevor Story, he is playing out of position. As you guys can see, kind of a slow delivery. But he is able to transfer it. We give up two runs. We got to come back. We need to score some on offense. You know, I'm not afraid to upload a loss, but that was just ridiculous. Nothing good happened in that game, but okay. Okay, we see the breaking ball, Trevor Story getting on base, and two runners on now, two outs, keeping us alive with Gary Sanchez coming up. Here we go. I mean, he was such a beast for the Yankees towards the end of the season when he started, but let's see if that translates onto this game. 1-0 count, two outs. Come on, just throw me one more time. Okay, we're swinging way too late. 94 isn't even that fast. I don't know why I'm having trouble keeping up with his pitches. I'm just out of the loop, man. I'm just out of the loop. I got to play this game more. I can't I can't be like giving it these breaks and gonna get really bad again. Now that I'm not really bad already, I mean, you guys don't need to tell me that. I'm I I know I'm not that good at this game. Omar Mazara, like I was saying when I introduced the lineup, thankfully we are going up against a righty. So his attributes are actually going to be pretty decent. That's not a good pitch to swing at, but we get lucked out. I'll take it. I'll take it. We get lucked out, and we're going to get an opposite field base hit. We got to be more selective on these pitches. That wasn't good PCI. That wasn't good swing timing, and that wasn't a good pitch selection to swing at. But Tommy Joseph, that one's going to string right by through the middle. Back-to-back -back singles to open up the inning. I'll take it. We just got to score some out of this. He heard that I was, that I was trash talking him. Maybe he heard that, and so he makes me ground to a double play. Yup. Alright, Bryce Harper. Don't want to throw anything to him. He Okay, okay, okay. What is... Okay, we've, we're gonna... We're bound. We're gonna get out of this. If that's getting called a strike... Bro, you already know. The game's on my side. You know, the game's on my side. They want me to win, man. They want me to win if they're giving me that call. They're just giving me a thumbs up. Like, go ahead, throw it, where, throw it wherever you want. We're going to call it strike. And if you guys want to do that, I'm fine with that, man. I'm fine with that. Todd Frazier hits it out there. And come on, 80 speed. I don't think that we can get that back in time. We got a chance at the plate. And no, he's going to be safe, 80 speed. Like I always say, speed kills on this game. Even though 80 isn't exactly elite speed, it definitely can get you around the bases quick. And speed is so important. Just in those situations, being able to stretch that and getting a run out of it, it's big. David Ortiz is going to get tied up on that one. I I'm going to test it. I'm just tossing a high fastball, and he swings at that. That was a horrible pitch by Michael Fulmer, but he's going to swing at it. I'll take it. Now he's just swinging at a bunch of balls. And, okay, that sounded a little bit weird. And, of course, he hits that one up in on the hands. And it's a four-run lead, man. Michael Fulmer. I got to go to the bullpen. He's just not doing it for me right now. He's not doing it for me. You know, that's probably not a good place to throw that pitch regardless. But still, I'm washed up right now, man. I am not pitching a good game whatsoever by any spectrum. And he's doing some work right now. Two... Two good strikes that he's thrown, and a nice slider is going to get Hunter Pence. Great pitch by him. Great job right there by Edwin Diaz. Now, if we if we give up another run the way we're hitting, it's pretty much a GG. It's, I'm just going to be honest. It's pretty much a GG. It's going to be hard enough coming back from four. Coming back from five, even though that's only one extra run, I don't know if I can do it. It's already the sixth inning. And we're just not scoring runs. We're not even getting hits lately. We can't even hit the ball. But still. I thought for sure I could have had a Corey Seager. Let's go. That's what we needed. A big two-run shot. And now all of a sudden that four-run lead. It's only a two-run lead. A big shot. Corey Seager. Showing why he won that MV Showing why he won that Rookie of the Year. At least one of the Rookie of the Years can do something for me in this game. I Itro would have gunned me easily. Etro would have gunned me, which unfortunately I sold my team, so now I can't get Etro back. That one's hit high up in the air. Harper ranging back. Let's go. A two-run shot. We are tying this game up. Like I said, four runs. Easy, man. We can come back from that. All of a sudden, it's a tie game. It went from 4 nothing. All of a sudden, when it rains, it pours. And even though we get out right there, beautiful inning. Two two-run shots. We even have more hits than him. And all of a sudden, this game is tied. We just got to do our work back on the mound, just like we have been in the past couple innings. 
and keep throwing strikes. And if we do what we did that inning on offense, I think we can come back and take this one. I haven't really been able to say good eye on a lot of times this, you know, this game, but now it's right down the middle. Right down the middle, and, and I swing too late on it. Oh my god, man. I am so washed up right now, Trey Turner. We see that breaking ball. That one up, back, gone. Let's go, Trey Turner. Like I said, he's a beast. Even though he doesn't have much power, he can mash the baseball. He can mash it. We were we had a green timing on that one, and we were pretty much right on that curveball. Great job. I, I got to give myself props, man. That was actually a good job by me. A little bit more selective now, which is fair. He doesn't want to choke away these opportunities like I did so much. Come on, 10 speed. Just go yourself, Corey Seager. Go yourself. Great job. Let's see if we can get some insurance runs before we head into the ninth inning. Or he does have a cutter. Let's see. Let's see what that cutter is all about. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good cutter. He's got some good movement for only being like a 75 overall. He's got some good movement, and we do also have Sing Juan O. That's probably not how you say his first name. I'm sorry, guy. We have O. We have O on. We have O in the pen. Our closer, the highest overall. Uh, Reliever that we have 83 in the bullpen just in case we need him, but these pitches, you know, overall it's don't matter, man. You just need good pitches. You need good pitches. That is all you need to see him right down the middle. Cutters, you sh okay, that's a bad pitch, but it looks like we're getting lucked out. The right fielder over the ball, gonna make the catch, and we get the comeback victory. We are down four at one point, but you know, comeback king. Gums to legend coming back, hitting two two-run shots, and I mean our only runs were on home runs. But Corey Seager one for four, hit a two-run shot. I don't care if you only got one hit, you hit a two-run shot. That's what I needed, and no, and it was Trey Turner. It all comes back to Trey Turner, the like God himself, Trey Turner, coming up when I need it most, hitting that solo home run and giving us the one run that we ended up ended up being the difference. But we played a pretty bad game, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, we couldn't get anything going on offense until that four run inning. So clearly I've got some work to do. I gotta, you know, I gotta be in a good state of mind. I gotta be able to see, don't swing at that, don't swing at that, come on, don't swing so late at that. But all is well and well, we were able to come back from a four run deficit and we're able to take this dub. Of course, you know, we don't take L's on this channel. We only take dubs. But if you guys enjoyed the video, the rookie squadron, if you guys want to see more videos with them, I can possibly do a couple more gameplays. If not, I'll just go ahead and sell this team. But this weekend, hopefully, I should be streaming a bit. Not exactly sure if I will or not. But let me know in the comments if you would be about that life. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And literally, guys, comes out.